Hey Frag fam, Corbin here again from Northwest Scent. Today we're going to be covering one of my favorite genres of fragrance, which is barbershop or fougere. This is that kind of old school style fragrance that they usually have lavender and oak moss, maybe a little bit of cardamom in them. However, these five fragrances are a modern twist on that. They still have that original DNA present, however, they have lots of other modern qualities to them too, so none of these smell dated. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, please stay tuned, but first, let's roll that intro. Alright, welcome back. So, like I said, five awesome modern fougeres or barbershop fragrances. This is not going to be a rank list. This is just going to be my top five for that style. So none of these I necessarily have like preferences over. I did save my favorite for the number one spot though, but in general these are pretty even as far as the playing field on my preferences. So kicking it right off at the number five spot, it's from Nishane and it's called B612. So this one is the newest to my collection and it's also probably one of the more unique ones. This still definitely qualifies as a fougere, but there's lots of unique qualities that really separate this one from just your general run of the mill barbershop style fragrance. This one has notes of lavender, patchouli, cedar, and oak moss, among some other notes. And this thing, it has, like I said, it has that DNA in there. You can definitely pick out that lavender and that oak moss. However, this thing is really dark and sweet at the same time. This is honestly one of the darker fougeres you'll find. Usually they tend to be kind of lighter, greener, a little bit spicier fragrances. This one has that DNA deep down there, but this one comes across really sweet, woody, and a little bit resinous. Now there's no resins in this fragrance, so I'm not really sure what contributes to that kind of resinous feel, but it kind of gives me a very light licorice nuance on top of being very woody. This thing's beast mode as well, the performance, and it's like 12 plus hours, which you get with a all, basically all of the Nishane fragrances. Like I said, this is one of the more unique barbershop fragrances, and this is definitely very modern smelling as well. It does have that DNA in there, but that kind of woody, resinous, dark feel to it, it just comes across very modern and sophisticated. This stuff is awesome. If you guys want a loud, performing beast mode fougere, this is the way to go. So again, at the number five spot, it was Nishane's. B612. The fragrance at the number four spot is a true modern fougere. The creative director and owner of this brand, he's very active in the Facebook fragrance groups. He's very active in Fragcom and he's an amazing person. And on top of that, he put out an amazing high quality scent. It's from Zaharoff and it's called Signature Horom. So, oh my gosh, this stuff smells amazing. I'm not kidding when I say that this has one of the best openings on a fragrance I've ever smelled. Right off the top, you get a blast of this lavender. It's sweet, it's spicy, green. This thing just encompasses a fougere as the style of fragrance, but it really develops on your skin and turns into something different. It has notes of lavender, myrrh, incense, oud, and vanilla, among a ton of other notes. This thing is a natural fragrance. It uses all natural ingredients. It's very high quality, and you can tell in the smell that it is high quality. And for the price, this big bottle only sells for $155. It's an amazing deal for the scent quality, the ingredients you're getting, and just the presentation. I mean, you can't argue that's one of the prettiest looking bottles ever. Like I said, this stuff smells absolutely amazing off the top. Once it starts drying down, it kind of strays away from that fougere style a little bit, and the focus goes more on like the myrrh, the oud, the incense, and then some of the supporting floral notes. This thing, like I said, it really does develop and change on your skin, which is unique. It takes you on a fragrance journey, and I just cannot recommend this stuff enough. George is an amazing person as well, so you're really contributing to an awesome brand when you purchase this fragrance. So again, at the number four spot, it was Zaharoff Signature Porom. The fragrance at the number three spot was created by one of the most well-known perfumers in history. He used to do a lot of different work for different designer houses creating their fragrances. And then he eventually went on to start his own fragrance house, which is where this fragrance originates from. It's out of the house of Maison Francis Kirkjohn, and it's called Masculine Pluriel. So this stuff has notes of lavender, vetiver, patchouli, cedar, and then leather, among some other woody notes. 
and that's the and that's the entire note breakdown so it sounds really simple which it honestly is this thing is not as complex as some of the other fragrances on this list but the quality here is absolutely amazing it has pretty decent performance as well especially for being just an eau de toilette i get about seven eight hours and this thing just it screams class and gentleman to the max you get that prominent lavender note of course you also get that vetiver which is a really fresh vetiver it comes across a little bit almost like citrusy and just uh, like green you also get that cedar for a little bit of woodiness and it's a very photorealistic cedar as well so it smells like almost like a fresh cut tree with like the sap pouring down and stuff it's just very green and piney smelling in the dry down you almost get like a like a barbasol kind of shaving cream smell so it's like a little bit powdery very fresh and invigorating smelling the quality again on here is amazing performance is pretty good too and i think this fragrance is super underrated i absolutely think this is one of the best from the house i prefer this to baccarat rouge 540 and that says a lot so if you guys have not checked out this fragrance i would definitely recommend it again it was from maison francis kirk john and it's called masculine pluriel the fragrance at the number two spot smells extremely gentlemanly it's sophisticated it screams class this is an absolute treat for me when I go to pull this thing out and wear it. And I think it's one of the best fragrances from this brand. It's from Roja Parfums and it's called Scandal. And this is the Parfum Cologne version. So this fragrance has notes of citruses, lavender, green herbs, oak moss, and ambergris, among a ton, ton of other notes. Roja is known for putting like 20, 30 different fragrance notes in his fragrances and blending them amazingly. And he's absolutely done that with this one. Right off the top, this thing is very citrusy, herbal, and spicy. As it dries down, it becomes a little bit more powdery and floral, and it kind of goes more in that shaving cream kind of direction, but this smells nothing like Masculine Pluriel, which was the previous one. They both kind of, like I said, go in that shaving cream direction in the dry down, but they smell quite different. This is one of the best places to start if you're just trying to get into Roja, especially if you're just looking for a very clean, bright, and sophisticated smell. This thing is a classic fougere through and through without smelling dated. There's nothing old smelling about this and there's no other fragrances that I've ever smelled that smell like Scandal. Scandal is its own fragrance, but if you're looking for a barbershop style fragrance that doesn't deviate too much from that original DNA, this is the way to go. Like I said, this stuff is absolutely classy and I think it's one of the more versatile fougeres out there. This one, even though it is sophisticated, I think it would be easier to pull off in more like normal attire. You don't have to wear this strictly for that dressed up wear. And because of that, I think it's a very good buy. And like I said, this is a great place to start at the house if you have not tried any Roja fragrances yet. So again, at the number two spot, it was Roja's Scandal. So like I said earlier in this video, this was not a rank list by any means. In general, all these fragrances are pretty even playing field for me. However, I also did say that I was saving my favorite for the number one spot, which this one absolutely is. More often than not, if I'm reaching for a fougere or barbershop style fragrance, this is the one I'm reaching for. And it's from Tom Ford, and it's called Beau De Jour. Yeah, this stuff smells absolutely amazing to me. Actually, I do want to do a spray just to get that because, yeah, I want to be smelling this the rest of the night, absolutely. So this one has notes of lavender extract, lavender, oak moss, and rosemary. So it has a lot of those classic fougere notes, but the rosemary in this one adds a nice little twist. It makes it very herbal and spicy, just a little bit crisp. The lavender here is photorealistic. It smells like a literal, actual like lavender flower if you were to go up and smell it. This thing has a little bit of woodiness too. It lasts a very long time. I usually get about eight, nine hours with this fragrance, which for how refreshing this one is and green, I think that's amazing performance. I used to own the private blend version, which in case you guys didn't know, this used to be a Tom Ford, uh, excuse me, Tom Ford private blend fragrance. And then he shifted it over to the signature line, which just comes in these cylindrical style bottles, basically makes it more affordable. It's a slightly cheaper line in, in his brand. Now, a lot of people talk about this being a lesser version of the Private Blend, and I can attest to it. I owned the Private Blend before I had this one, and as soon as I picked this bottle up, I sold the Private Blend off. There's no difference in the juice. They're the same exact juice. 
It's just been made more affordable and more accessible to people. So if you guys are looking to buy this fragrance, definitely go to the, the signature line route. You get the performance, you get the smell at a much better price. And like I said, this is definitely my favorite fougere. This just screams class and gentleman, and it's a lavender bomb. This stuff is very lavender heavy. So again, at the number one spot, it was from Tom Ford, and it's called Beau De Jour. Well, there it is, my top five modern fougere or barbershop fragrances. If you guys are wanting to smell like a gentleman, just very classy, sophisticated, and very appealing as well, these fragrances will have you covered, absolutely. If you guys enjoyed this video or these topics that I do, I would really appreciate dropping a like just to show your support and let me know that you do like it. And then write a comment down below as well, just letting me know your thoughts and then maybe any other kind of video ideas you guys have for me. And while you're down there, if you guys maybe wanted to subscribe and hit the bell notification, that would be great just so you stay up to date on new videos whenever they get released going forward. But with all that out of the way, that's all I have for you guys today. So I hope you have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.